destruction of the barn spoiled all chances of tracing Scarab's men. Oh, Gail? Have you gentlemen seen this? Dr. Clinton Lyman, brother of the late Professor Lyman, who was a victim of the Purple Death, will demonstrate his latest invention at his home tonight. It is said that this device will restore life to plants and animals within certain limits of time. Witnessing the demonstration will be Lyman's fellow members of the Mayan Explorers Club. Why, oh, that's dynamite. The Scarab's attacks have been made only on members of that club, and now they're publicizing a meeting like that. Looks like they're asking the Scarab to wipe them out. Get me Dr. Clinton Lyman's home, please. Uh, hello? Oh, I never intended that to get into the papers. I simply mentioned it at a private luncheon at my club. I advise you to cancel tonight's demonstration. Oh, no, no, that's impossible. And you're only inviting disaster for yourself and your associates. No, I don't really think so. If it would relieve your mind, why not attend my demonstration? Thanks, I will. I'll be there with my assistant, Miss Richards. These scientists don't seem to realize their danger from this carrot. Have you seen this? Yes, I know all about it. I had lunch at the Mayan Explorers Club. And I'm among those invited to Lyman's house. Is there anything to this perpetual life machine? We will find out tonight. Lyman will try and bring a dog back to life. And the Humane Society is cooperating in the experiment. If his device works, I must have it. I've always dreamed of an elixir that would give me power over death itself. But you'll be there yourself. How can you possibly? Oh, it's relatively simple. Dinner shall be over at 8.45. About that time, the truck from the Humane Society should arrive at Lyman's residence. thing until you're sure the demonstration's a success. Right. Jerk is waiting in his car outside. He'll cover us in case we're trailed. What beautiful roses. This morning they were withered and dead. And my machine restored them to life. Ma! Can the machine be used to restore human life? I've never tried it. But I'm convinced it will. That must be the men from the Humane Society. Excuse me. Put it here, please. Now, if you wait in the ante room. Speaking broadly, gentlemen, the principle of my machine is based on the diathermic method of inducing fever by high temperature. This results in the electronic resuscitation of the circulatory system. It works in conjunction with this serum, which I inject into the vital organs. If the subject has been dead too long, I cannot expect success.
Gentlemen, I believe the experiment is a success. Wonderful, a miracle. Congratulations, Doctor, on your great contribution to science. Thank you. Here, here, doggy. I'll get him. Hold it, everybody. What, 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 are you, what, what is that? Get away from that table. Keep him covered till I get back to help you with Lyman. Get over against that wall. Something's gone wrong. Get away from here. I'll pick up Dirk and we'll take care of Lyman. Sure that no one leaves this house. Right. What is the meaning of all this? I don't lose them. men broke in, tied us up, and took Dr. Lyman away. Dr. Melder was hurt trying to resist them. Tore the mask off one man. It was Matson. I didn't see the other man's face, but if I ever see him again, I'll know him. He'll be all right. Phone the commissioner to send out some detectives from the identification bureau. They might be able to identify that man I shot and give us a clue to the scarab. Lyman's at a research laboratory, and Hunt cut through with the machine safely. We really outfoxed the DA this time. Not entirely. He found a watchman's key on Rick's body, and it won't take him long to trace it. Where did Rick work? He was a night watchman at the Collins gravel pits. We've been using the office there at the meeting place at night. Well, go there immediately and destroy any evidence that might point to me before the district attorney gets there. Or oh, wait. I have a better plan. The one that will remove the evidence and also the district attorney if he goes there. Take the plunger off about 200 yards and be sure you keep the wire out of sight. And pick a spot where we can see the shack clearly. We want to see who goes into it before we blow it up. Jump off about 100 yards from the entrance. Keep going, you know what to do. I heard a car pull up outside. It's all right, we're ready. Girl. Yeah. She's the one who 
worse than Captain America. Shall I blow it? No, wait a minute. Captain America might show up, too. He'd never let her come out here alone. You're right. Get your hands up.